have a very nice lace stitch to show you. They look like little shacks. So very pretty. This is a multiple of six plus three and plus two. So that means I have six times four is twenty-four plus three is twenty-seven and plus two for the edges is twenty-nine. And I'm using the needles that the yarn calls for. This is a number four worsted yarn. And I'm using size 8 US needles, which is the same as 5 millimeters. So make sure that I just cast it on my stitches. And I did, at the beginning, I did two rows, two base rows, which is one knit row and one purl row. But though, that is only at the beginning and only if you wish, just to hold it in place. So, row number one is going to be knit one. Now you're going to knit three and purl three. Knit three, and purl three. Knit three, purl three. Knit three. Purl three, you do that the whole row and the last stitches you are going to knit three and knit the last one. Row number two is going to go knit one and purl three one two three so follow the same pattern as row number one so knit the knits and purl the pearls so so such a simple stitch and and so pretty So knit three and purl three. Knit three. Purl three. Knit three. And the last four stitches are going to be purl three and knit the last one. Okay, row number three. You're going to knit one and then yarn over and pass these two stitches as if to knit together and knit the next stitch and pass those two stitches over the last one and yarn over. Now knit three, one, two, three. So let's repeat that. Yarn over, pass two stitches as if to knit, knit the next stitch and pass the two past stitches over the last one, yarn over and knit three. One, two, so again, yarn over, pass the two stitches, knit one, pass the two stitches over that last one, yarn over, and knit three. And then again, yarn over, pass two stitches as if to knit together, knit the next stitch, Pass those two stitches over the last stitch, yarn over, 
knit three and the last four stitches is going to be yarn over pass the two stitches together as if to knit knit one pass those stitches over the last one and yarn over and knit the last stitch and the way back is going to be knit the first and the last stitch and the rest of the row you purl so I purled row number four except for the first one and the last one which I knitted so row number five is going to be knit one and purl three because we want the little shacks alternated so now we're starting differently so I knitted one purl three knit three Pearl three, knit three, and pearl three, knit three. Row three, knit three, pro three, and the last one I knit. So row number six, you knit one. And then knit three and purl three. So knit the knits and purl the pearls. This would be very nice, like for a little girl's dress or, or a summer, um, you know, like swimsuit top kind of thing to put over your swimsuit. And the last ones I'm going to knit. And knit the last one. Okay, row number seven is going to be knit one, knit three, pass two stitch, uh, yarn over, pass two stitches as if to knit, knit one, and pass those two stitches over, and yarn over. So knit three, yarn over, pass two, knit one, pass those two over, and yarn over. Knit three, yarn over, pass two together, set so to knit, knit one, pass those two over. The last one and your nova. Knit three, your nova, pass two stitches, knit one and pass the two stitches over the last one and your nova. You end 
with three stitches and the last one you knit and row number eight which is the last one you knit the first and the last and you purl the whole row and that's it you repeat these eight rows for your pattern and it looks really really nice so even for a table run or something like that or a little baby's blanket a summer one see how it looks nice on the wrong side also but see how pretty that is anyway thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time let me show you how this looks see very pretty